on the Hawk Team Mark 2. I also fly the spare jet in between shows and also fly the jet around the display taking airborne images. We are also commanded by Office Commanding Rafa, which is Wing Commander Adam Collins. He's a former Tornado GR4 pilot. He's also flown the F-111 while exchanged with the Australian Air Force. And he's also a former qualified flying instructor on the Hawk Team Mark 1. You can see the team come now round from the right. They've moved their way into Apollo as Red One brings them around for the Apollo loop. And coming up. Once again, Red One pulls them up at over 400 miles per hour and 4G. They reach a height of over five and a half thousand feet and the aircraft now is starting to slow to approximately 110 to 120 miles per hour. Which means that the controls of the, the aircraft are a lot less effective. Conversely, as the aircraft starts to descend, they now increase speed through 200, 300, back to that 400 miles per hour, where the controls are a lot more effective, making the pilots work even more harder as they come around to the left. Four. The Apollo present. On the left of Red One is Red Three, flight lieutenant Tom Hansen. Tom is in his first year on the team. He's a former Typhoon pilot and qualified weapons instructor on the Typhoon, which meant that he would teach weapon technical information and all frontline tactics to the entire Typhoon Force. Reds 2 and 3, smoke comes on as the entire centre section makes their way rearwards to the second of our space-themed shapes. We had the Apollo from the Apollo space missions and now they've moved into Eagle from the Eagle lunar landing craft. And you can see Reds 4 and 5 all the way back at the formation, which makes it extremely difficult for them as we take all our formation references from Red 1 not necessarily the closest aircraft to you. As the smoke comes on for the Eagle present. <laughs> As I said, the second 
end of our space theme shakes. As the Royal Air Force acknowledges that space plays an important part in future military operations. And in 2021, UK Space Command was formed. And UK Space Command reached its initial operating capability.